I'm Oren Karolaim. I work for Tinada Youth Organization. We are partnering with Ponea Health, and today we are going to talk about anxiety disorder in children. I am a counseling psychologist, and I am hoping that we are going to learn more from this. Anxiety. Uh, anxiety is, um, is a very, I would say sometimes it is misused word, but anxiety is a condition whereby somebody gets to worry a lot. It's an abnormal kind of worry. They are, it's uh, where somebody might hear someone knocking and they jack, or they might, somebody might tap their shoulder and they run away. And it, it, it appears like as if you're having a very hard, a very strong, painful heart disease that is almost popping out. Anxiety disorders in children are, are, are quite a number of them, but I'm going to just pick but a few. The most common one is when a child has problems with darkness. So they wouldn't want to go out when it's, when, when it's dark. They don't want to stay in their rooms when it's dark. They might even pee in their bed when they're, when they're forced to stay in a dark place. Uh, another one is mutism, um, where a child, when you expose them somewhere, they wouldn't they want to talk. It's a child who talks all the time, but when you put them in a limelight or in a place where they don't feel comfortable, they keep quiet, they don't talk. And then we have another one, which is also very common, social anxiety disorder. These are children whom you'll find them a lot alone, and when they go into a new environment, they react in a very different way. They keep quiet, they lose things when they're in school, they come home, they don't say anything, they will cry, they don't want to go to school the following day for no apparent reason, and this could be because of what they went through probably in a previous school or in a previous environment that gave them the same kind of picture of what they are experiencing at that moment. If you want to notice that a child has anxiety disorder, some of them will sweat a lot. Then you will, a parent will know, why is it when I talk about this topic or why is it when I take a child in a particular place, they sweat? Some of them will jack. Some of them will have a very bad stomachache. And this is very common in children in schools, high school children. A child who's been home for the whole eight years, and then they go into a new environment in a boarding school, they start complaining about stomachache. And when they go to the hospital, you, you do all the tests, nothing is found. But they will complain like as if they have butterflies in their stomachs, or they're feeling pain in their stomachs, or they're just feeling uncomfortable. Some of them will complain of um, pain in the, heart, in the, the chest, and it, some, at times it's confused with ulcers, my, my complaint, because they don't know how to explain. They will say, I'm feeling pain somewhere here. And if it's not well diagnosed, somebody can, can confuse them to be having ulcers. And children are very funny. When you, give, when you tell them that you have ulcers, they'll pick it like as if they have ulcers. So each and every time you give them food that was linked to it, they'll say, I don't take that because I have ulcers. Yet it could be anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorder can come in many ways and it's most, mostly is out of experience. It could be an environment or something. It could be maybe a child who had an accident or a child was reprimanded or a child was abused. These kind of things might make a child have anxiety disorder. You might see a child who stopped bedwetting long time ago, maybe from six years, the child has not been, been uh, bedwetting, but all of a sudden it, it comes. So it might be that they have a new housemaid or they have somebody new in the family or just don't like that environment. So it is easy for a child to expose themselves in a different way when they don't feel comfortable being somewhere or with somebody whom they don't, they don't like. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from each other. If you want to book my services, you can always do that through ponea.com. You will get me, you will be referred to me and we will be able to continue with this topic or anything that might be disturbing you psychologically.